All right, this is a time-consuming question, so let's do it as quickly as we can. The force of interest delta t is a function of time at any time t measured in years is given by the formula, all of that. Calculate the present value at time t equals zero of a payment stream paid continuously from time t equals nine to t equals 12, under which the rate of payment at time t is that. Okay, so I've written down what v of t equals. It's e to the negative integral between something well, that's less than t and time t between delta s ds. Um, I'm going to ignore a bit of this notation and just use t for everything because that's, I guess, the formal way of doing it. All right, so let me just prepare. And we're going to write what v of t is for all of that because we're eventually going to need to find what v of t is between time t equals 9 and t equals 12 in order to solve this problem. So um, what's the first thing we're going to do? Well, let's find e to the negative integral between time 0 over there. And instead of time 4, we're going to say time t. So it can be any time between 0 and 4 of that delta t function, so 0. Point, sorry, 0 0.04 plus 0 0.01 t dt. And what's that going to be? Well, the integral of all of that is 0.04 t plus 0. Well, that's actually going to be like this because it's going to be t squared all divided by 2 and 0 0.01 divided by 2 is 0 0.005. So it looks like that. It's going to be in between time t and 0, and there's a negative out the front, which stayed there because we didn't do anything about that, and we still got our exponential. All right, so when we sub in t for all of that, that's all going to remain the same. Then we minus when we sub in 0 for all of that, it's going to be 0. So it'll be all of this minus 0. So in fact, it'll be e to the negative 0.04t minus 0.005t squared. In fact, I'm going to write that over here now. <coughs> e to the negative 0 0.04 t minus 0 0.005 t squared and that is for 0 is less than or equal to t which is less than or equal to 4. Okay, I'll just draw a line going down. Alright, so now um, that's that bit over there. Now in order to find the next bit we've still got to find v of t, uh, sorry v of 4 We've got to find v of 4 because if we didn't do that, then we just um, use this v of t. If we just found e to the negative integral of this function over here, then when we use that, all we'd be doing is bringing it back to time 4 rather than to time 0. So in order to do that, we've got to use v of t and multiply it by that. So what is v of 4? Well, we just sub 4 into where we see t inside of here. So that's then going to be equal to e to the negative 0 0.04 times 4 is going to be negative 0 0.16, uh, sorry, minus, which is over there. Let's get rid of that. Minus uh, 0 0.05t squared happens to be 0 0.08 over here. So in fact, this just equals e to the negative 0 0.24. All right, that's what v of 4 is. Let's keep that in mind, and then we'll get back to it soon. So now we just have to find e to the negative integral of this bit over here between 4 and time t instead of 8. Uh, so I'll just write that down. e to the negative integral between time 4 and time t of, that is, 0 0.12. Uh, sorry, there's no t over there yet. Getting ahead of myself. Okay, and um, minus 0 0.01t dt. Alright, so let's get to work on this bit. The integral of that, that's going to be e to the negative, and we got 0.12t minus 0 0.005. Again, what I've done is I've divided that by 2 over there in between time t and time 4. So when we sub in t, we're going to get e to the, in fact, I'll just start using the, actually no, I'll save the negative for soon. Um, let me just make sure I've done all that right. Yep, that all looks pretty good. So it's going to be e to the 0.12t minus 0.005t squared. And then we've got to say minus and sub in the 4 because now we're minusing this bit, which is then 0 0.48, 4 times 0 0.12. And then it's going to be plus because we've got a minus that bit as well, minus minus is a plus, 
0.005 times 16, as we saw before. Well, I didn't calculate it, I did it in my head. But it's 0 0.08, and that's all in there. And then we can simplify a little bit. So let's just put the negative in there, so it's going to be e to the negative 0.12t plus 0.005t squared. And that's going to be plus 0.48 minus 0 0.08, so it'll be just plus 0.4. Okay, and then we still have to times it by uh, v of uh, 4, which is e to the negative 0 0.24, as we had before, that bit over there, that's what the e to the, v to the 4 is. So now here, um, let's just simplify this bit. It's going to be, all of this will be the same, just plus 0.4 minus 0.24 will be uh, plus 0.16. So let me see, actually I'm going to try and figure out way to do this without having to scroll around too much. So I'm going to rewrite it. 5t squared and then I'm just going to um, use some amazing features that are available over there. Cut that out and paste it somewhere and now I should just be able to drag that in there. Okay, cool. So that's it for uh, for zero, uh, not zero, sorry, that's four T, and then we have eight. There's a little equals there, that's fine. And so now we've got to find e to the negative integral of this bit, okay, multiplied by V of eight. So I'll just do that over here. What is v of 8 equal to? Well, we've got a sub 8 into this. I'm going to use Excel for this bit because I just can't be bothered. So it's going to be negative uh, 0.12 times 8. And that will be plus 0.005 times t squared, which is 8 squared, which is 64, plus 0.16, which you can't fully see, but then now you can fully see it. And all of that, that's what it is. So it's going to be e to the negative 0.48. So I'll write that down. e to the negative 0.48. And we've also got down that we've got to find e to the negative integral between 8 and t of 0 0.06 um, dt. So shouldn't be too much longer. So that's going to be e to the negative and the integral of 0 0.06 is 0 0.06 t between t and 8, so I can now just say e to the negative 0.06t, I've already put the negatives in there, and then instead of minusing everything, it's going to be plusing everything because it's minus minus, um, 0 0.06 times 8 is 0.48, there you go, So and now we've got to multiply it by our v of 8, which is e to the negative and these two are going to cancel out that there and that whole thing there so it is e to the negative 0.06t for 8 is less than t and now that we have that we can finally um, <clears throat> we can bring this continuous payment uh, back to the present value using our discount rate between 9 and 12 so how do we do that? We find the integral between 12 and 9 and what was the function for the payment? 50e.01t 50e.01t and then we've got to multiply it by a discount factor which is um, e to the negative 0 0.06 okay? dt and I think there was a t there as well Yes, there was. Okay, and now we just got to solve for this bit. All right, so we're ready. So let's take out 50 because we can. Let's simplify this bit. e to the 0 0.01 times e to the negative 0 0.06, which is then going to be, so I'll still keep that there, e to the negative 0 0.05t. That's just a minus 0 0.06 plus 0 0.01 dt. The integral of this whole thing Still keep the 50 out there, and that's going to be uh, this whole function divided by the derivative of this top bit. So then that is 
e to the negative 0.05t divided by negative 0.05 and that's inside of 12 and 9 I can what I can do is I can take out uh, 1 over negative 0.05 so it's going to be 0 divided by negative 0.05 between and then that's going to be e and I'll sub in 12 so e to the negative 0.6 minus e to the negative when I sub in 9 0.45 and this right here should give us our answer in pounds or whatever. So let's just have a quick look. What is e to the negative 50 divided by 0 0.05 minus a thousand? Okay, it's not very pleasant. I wouldn't want that. The exponential of minus 0 0.6 minus the exponential of minus 0.45 equals that and now let's just multiply them together. There you go, 88.82 pounds. 88.82 pounds. That's the answer. Thanks for watching.